Well, the first one that came to mind was the one that had to deal with me, you know, this very serious and probably not very good student in my first programming class and just trying to make sense of everything that was drawn on the board and trying to connect that to the IBM 3090 that I had to program on. And, um, and he kept using these non like n words that I didn't understand the meaning and it turns out it's nonsense but but I didn't know that then and so I raised my hand in this class I was you know one of four women in the class and raised my hand and asked professor Roscoe Giles what does foo mean and he 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 explained it um, not in quite as much depth, depth for me to really get the whole foobar acronym but um, but I did understand then that you could name a variable anything and it would work and that became something that I took into all of my programming classes that um, you know this is we call things foo and we call things bar because we can call them anything and this is where it comes from and if you have any questions that feel like maybe they're stupid but could help you understand then here's a story of me and you guys can ask me questions too so 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 that experience of having having a professor really patiently answer a question without making me feel like I was stupid is something that I definitely carried forward. Also, it helped me know that sometimes things just don't make sense in programming. <laughs>